Greetings from Palm Fret. This is day three of um, being in Palm Fret, like full days. Uh, so I'll just give you a brief overview of those days. So our first day arriving here, um, we had an 11 hour drive and I didn't sleep at all the night before. So I was like dead, but I didn't sleep at all during the 11 hour drive because I wanted to sleep at night. So that was fun, and it got really hot because we were heading into the desert, but it, it, like, I say that sarcastically, but it was also, it was actually, um, like, not that bad. I enjoyed it, actually. Um, yeah, so, 14 of us in a, like, fifth, not even, in a, in a 14 passenger van, basically. Um, yeah. A bit squished but yeah it was a lot of fun and then we arrived here and um, we got to meet all the uh, children from the children's home so the orphanage they have here in prom fret that we'll be working with and uh, they introduced themselves and we introduced ourselves and then they uh, got in a circle and held hands and we were in the middle of the circle and they prayed for us like all at once so each kid like praying their own prayer at once um, in their own language which was really beautiful and then we helped bring in all the food uh, that we'll be eating over the next month that um, was brought in from um, from different a different town because there is one store in Pomfret and it's like not even a convenience store it's like it's basically someone's garage who has some food <laughs> Um, yeah, and so then we had a quick debrief and, um, bed time after that slept, and then, um, the next day we did something, I'm sure, mm. What are we doing the next day? Okay, I'm pretty sure we just like, just wait. Uh, well, I can tell you what we did. I think we just got settled and everything. Just wait, let me look it up. Um, yeah, so uh, this house is really nice. Um, and it's, yeah. It's, uh, sorry, it's a really nice house, and it's much, like, bigger than we thought. Oh, that day. Okay, so, uh, the second day we were here, we got a tour of Echo's facilities. Echo is the organization we're working with, and so, um, we saw the children's home, and we saw the house where people who come to stay with them to, like, help out live, and then we had, um, a siesta after lunch, because... Um, every day from 1 to 3 we have lunch and then we have siesta, uh, which is the best. Naps. Anyways, and, <coughs> <coughs> sorry, and then, um, we had a tour of Palm Fret after our siesta and we were driven around in the back of the trucks and we saw, um, yeah, I heard that. Um, and we saw the rec center, and we saw, um, we saw where we'll be having Gotata, which I'll explain what that is later, and we also saw, um, like, just basically all of Palm Fret, the four different sections they have of it, and also, um, it's called The Secret Place, um, and... Uh, it's just like, it's like this natural, um, oh, what would it be called? Aud auditorium? No. Uh, I don't know, stage-like thing. Basically, it's like there's this, like, rock cliff, and then there's, uh, huts all around and stuff, and, uh, a lot of goat poop everywhere as well. And then there's also, um, sorry. Uh, there's also... Um, other stuff there. One second. <laughs> Am I bugging you? Okay, so we're going to talk in the dark for a little bit, for a few seconds. Okay, so, 
And then the next day, uh, we started actually doing the work stuff that we're supposed to do because, um, um, sorry. Uh, I'm going to be on the work team for the next three weeks. Um, there's three people on our team that are staying with each ministry uh, group. One is the ministry team, the children's team, and the work team. And I volunteered to do the work team for all three weeks. So basically just um, a bunch of manual labor, cleaning up stuff. And so for the first day we cleaned up, um, there's an empty pool area but um, in both the children's home and uh, where our house is. And so we just cleaned up that area, like took all the garbage out of the pool and removed the piles of garbage and like debris that were everywhere and all the wire that was hanging around and we moved all that out of the way and cleaned it up and also had lunch and siesta and then cleaned up the other pool um, oh and then we went and worked in the computer room uh, they have a computer room here with about ten computers that have been donated to the community with different uh, programs on them to help the kids learn because most of them speak Swana or Portuguese at home but then um, uh, school is in Afrikaans or English because uh, that's like the languages of South Africa so school they're learning in their like third or fourth language so it can be really difficult so this uh, is a program to really just help them excel at school and so we got to work with them and um, my little boy his name was Miguel oh also I'll get back to Miguel but um, Miguel uh, another boy Monty Eric and Danny um, the past two nights that we've been here have been playing a uh, soccer game in our front yard with us which has been super fun uh, we just start kicking the ball and then all the kids come and so that's been fun like fun and then anyway so Miguel um, speaks or he speaks English but also but he did his work in Afrikaans so it's kind of hard to help him especially when it was spelling and stuff because I'm like no clue um, but it was still really good and um, like there's it's like games to help them learn so it's not just like spell spell type thing it's like um, spell this right and like unscramble the words and letters to go to the next level type thing uh, which is super good idea uh, and then today we had the morning off just um, uh, for because that's like what we'll, we'll have every weekend and so in the morning I just read and did laundry hung it up on the line and all that and um, had siesta after lunch and then this afternoon we had gotata which is um, it's just like a big kids get together basically so we get um, in this uh, in the trucks with trailers behind them and um, yell ingale ingale go tata and then the kids come running out of the houses hop on the trailer and we drop them off at this um, uh, this uh, like abandoned building basically that has uh, like an area to play beside it and so we did that we made three trips I have a very little of a voice left, but then once there, we were there, they sang songs for us, and we did a play about David, David and Goliath, and then we sang songs for them, and then we split into girls, boys, and uh, younger kids, and so I was kind of in charge of the boys team group, not team, and we played Duck Duck Goose, and we played uh, British Bulldog, and a few games, um, Oh, I forget what they called it, but basically like Duck Duck Goose, but um, you have to take each other before they get around the circle instead of just beat them to their spot. Um, and then we played this one game where you have to hold hands and like lift your leg up over your hand and still stand up and then start hopping on your one foot and if you fall over then you're out and then you keep on going. So, and you sing a song with it as well that I don't remember. And so, and then the kids get a snack, and then they all get to walk home. Yep, and, um, yeah, so that's what we did today. And, 
um, there's like uh, like goats and donkeys everywhere and a few dogs and a rooster that wakes us up in the morning or has once or twice um, yeah but so far that's life in Pomfret love it love it um, tomorrow we're uh, it's Sunday so we'll be going to church um, it's gonna be uh, Tiswana church and so um, I'll probably be translated or we'll just sit there and then it can be um, three to five hours long so that's gonna be most of our day tomorrow and then the week starts so there you go <laughs>